for them, whereas this kind of setting, you're guaranteed to get at least seven games, at least people around your skill level, and they can get their money's worth. Yeah, sure. definitely. So here we have Goldfinger, Marth, and Bob, who is our puff. Bob is the puff, okay. Using the crown puff, my one of my favorites. Personal favorite. Reminds me of King, a very, very old-fashioned puff. Oh, <laughs> yeah, from right. way back in the day. I so. dated myself with that reference. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it applies. Okay. Oh, Decent wow. tipper. Goldfinger definitely starts out strong. So this matchup historically has been very challenging for Marth until really fairly recently with the advent of you know pivot forward smash allowing you to get tippers on puff and otherwise set up kills that you really couldn't get otherwise. Right I think it was more just like uh, accepted that puff was just you know a flying kind of ball of death that yes. could just come out there and back air you whenever you were off stage. Exactly exactly I mean Marth's horizontal recovery is you, you can see it right there it's, it's not the greatest so if he gets so much as touched off stage, especially with Puff's very potent back air, he's probably done. Right. I mean, I'd say with Marth's recovery, it's it's decent to the point where he can get back to stage, but it's very linear, so Puff can, you know, really, it's predictable for Puff to just come out there and do whatever. Absolutely. And, you know, Absolutely. get the kill. And she has a very potent punish option in rest. So we can see here, it's players are playing each other pretty closely. See, now at this point in time, Goldfinger might be struggling to land a kill move unless Bob DI's one of these throws improperly. Right. What kind of DI does Puff want to do on uh, Mart's throws, especially F throw and down throw? Which is so generally, I believe it's I believe it's away, just like straight away. Yeah. I think actually it's the case for most of Mart's matchups. If you're playing against Mart and he throws you, you want to do down away. Down away. And away. it'll you'll mostly, you know, probably get away sometimes. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, so Bob Bob misspaces himself in the air there. He eats a tipper forward air, right. forward smash rather. But this could be an opportunity for him. Oh. Kind of lets him on for free, but you can see he is really holding center stage with his with his bears. It's exactly yeah. what you have to do, especially when Mart's kind of at this high percent. You know, it's a safe option. It's going to give you a lot of mileage. Yeah, Ooh, extremely, he's... extremely valuable in this matchup. Very, very valuable. I think it's something that Puff isn't maybe used to is having you know an opponent that has all like a whole lot of range. So um, like we saw that tipper a stock ago, where maybe the Puff wasn't used to like, oh, Mart can actually hit me when I'm like Absolutely. half the stage away. Absolutely, he's 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 got some range. You know, he's got a little bit of range. Yeah. So now things, players are kind of feeling each other out. Now it's Goldfinger who has control of center stage, but no yeah. longer. Well, again. Yeah. Well, he got back, but you know, he hit that side B in neutral, and it's kind of <laughs> that's kind of a scary move to do in neutral. Very much so. Ooh. Dude, I, I love when Puff does a slow get up from 100 from the ledge, and she just looks like a worm. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And on top of it, you have all day to hit her with whatever you want. <laughs> Okay, yeah, see right there. <laughs> so he's, he's trying to, I think he's, he's having trouble finding the timing window right. uh, relative to Mart's recovery, which is understandable. Right. But you know, he's he can very much bring this back. Yeah. The thing with Marth is that his, his rest punishes aren't, you know, you're not going to, ooh, that might okay. be a problem. All right, that was a nice follow-up. Okay, all right, yeah. calm down, calm down. Yeah, well, you right. can't, can't be doing that offstage against Puff. It's, it's not going to end too I know you're stuck you. up, but like, <laughs> cool it, man. Cool it, man. This can still go south, you know, if you let it. Ooh, okay. Okay, now we see Bob is starting to mix in more crouch cancels. He's trying to abuse any missteps that Marth makes and spacing. Yeah, playing a bit more of Puff's grounded game uh, as opposed to an aerial one, which is interesting. And maybe uh, Goldfinger wasn't yearing for that. Yes, yeah, so and now it's even. So. And now you know Bob can bring this back. He just needs to. Ooh, so he's trying to set up a rest. You, you can see. Yeah, I mean, high percent Puff. You're you know you're just kind of scared to do anything. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh no, it's not that. Yeah, I don't think he could take another one of those. <laughs> yeah, floaty killer. Mart's up till, like deceivingly strong. Very strong, depending on ooh, if you get hit with a certain part of it, and like you're holding in, I believe, it's a kill option against it's, it's against crazy. Puff. And then you have even fair, which can maybe even kill off the side or off the top. It could. I've actually seen Marth players, you know, if they land a grab on Puff who's at ridiculously high percents, you know, just up throw which Yeah. <laughs> Ideally, you don't want to let it get to that. Oh, okay. that I love forward tilt. A little tiny walk forward to get that spaced forward tilt. Forward tilt was a great option. It was safe, yeah. and it got him the kill. Great range, very quick. Still has good range, right? Love it. Absolutely. 
we're going to fountain. Maybe Bob wants to see if he can if he can tie up Goldfinger's movements with the strange platform composition of the right. stage. Sort of, kind of, maybe a little bit of a strange option for Bob to pick because, I mean, Puff will die really quick off the sides here, won't she? She oh, would, you. yes. The, thank you. Thank you very much. She would, yes. The, the sides are, you know, they're not like super, super close, but... Ooh, all right. All right. So Bob has got a quite a sizable lead right now. <laughs> yeah, that was decent. Honestly, if he plays patiently, he might have this one in the back. Yeah. I mean, we saw Bob get a little impatient with that offstage there, so you bait out that patience and mm. you got him. Especially, you know, players that are less experienced, if they kind of sense that they're on the verge of a win, you know, or they, they sense that the set is starting to go their way, but kind of they get like really excited, yeah. and that'll get to their heads and be like, okay, I got this already. I, you know, I won game one, I'm good, right? No. <laughs> it's never like that. Never. There even is, even there's in grand finals of like some super major, yep. same yep. thing applies. Mental stamina is a absolutely key trait in a competitor. For sure. We're seeing, right. seeing Goldfinger get a little impatient here. He's trying to, you know, like obviously come back, but he's doing a lot of random F smashes. Um, He's not really holding center stage as well. Yes, and you uh, saw over there, he was kind of baited out of... Oh, <laughs> All okay. <right>. Well, <laughs> well, that that's, was wacky. <laughs> that's something that can happen, yeah. Um, okay, but you got edge guard. All right, nice. You saw earlier he got baited out of shield. But he, he wanted to act really quickly out of shield, and he did a forward air, an early forward air, and he just got bared for it. Yeah. And this is the part where things can kind of snowball, because against Ooh. Puff, if you lose your cool and your patience against Puff, She's just going to get in on you over and over again. It's over. Easy percent, you know, easy percent from back airs, and then you're off stage. Yeah, well, we're seeing Goldfinger kind of, you know, making a comeback. Not really getting hit a lot this stock. Um, you know, hitting it with some, like, a lot of nares. A lot of nares that are really working. Safe moves. It looks like he's finding his footing now, but is it too little too late? Maybe. Oh, okay. wow. It's the, the head part of his up, up smash. And that's, the edge guard. Okay. that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. Decently convincing game, game two there. He caught him high. He caught him coming from above with that very strong back air. All right. Well, this is gonna be the decider, boys. Where are we gonna go? Mm, stadium. Stadium. Okay. Interesting. A lot of players are comfortable on the stage. You know. Ceiling is nice and low. Yeah, true. That definitely helps Goldfinger at least a little bit. If you can get an F smash, you can die off the top. Absolutely. Uh, kill Puff off the top there. But if he doesn't keep his cool, it won't matter too much. Right. Now he's doing a fantastic job of keeping Puff above him. I think, I mean, this being Arcadian, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably talk a lot of smack about these players. <laughs> but really, I'm just doing some armchair analyzing. But right. I think one thing I'm noticing is that Goldfinger's not, um, he's not holding center stage as much as maybe he wants to, especially against Puff. Yes. Puff has center stage, and, you know, it's not really a lot you can do to get in there. Um, and also, your kill options against a character who's on center stage are lowered because you have to have a higher percentage to kill that character off the side. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and I'm seeing Goldfinger, you know, sometimes just opt to go towards the edge of the stage when Puff's above above him, and uh, that can be kind of dangerous because Puff can come down with anything. Um, unlike other characters, Puff is pretty strong when she's above you. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's yet another indicator of impatience. If you know you want to rush towards your opponent at all times and you forget that, hey, I'm kind of I'm kind of putting myself in a compromising position here. I'm all right, okay. Oh. <laughs> the ru rest does come out on frame one, so it's, it's very, very possible to just, you know, reaction, uh, you know, rest attack on reaction with it. That was dope. It was, yeah, really, you know, good six, like, good string of hits to get into that rest. Absolutely. I love it. One thing I noticed that Goldfinger is doing a good job of avoiding, though, is not not going for grabs against a, a, a yeah. ducking puff, which is yeah. a very common... <laughs> there's, a, there's a way you can space that, Goldfinger. You go right up to puff, you roll to either one direction on flat land, and you can charge a down smash. It'll be a pivot every time. Uh, it'll be a tipper every time. Oh, wow. I did yeah. not know that. Or if you're feeling really, just really not feeling yourself, you you know, just charge Shieldbreaker. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, right? <laughs> just walk up and charge Shieldbreaker. Yeah, as long as Puff's not at zero, you're fine with the Shieldbreaker. Absolutely. You know, when you when you factor in tournament nerves, even something as simple as walking to space a <laughs> yeah, Shieldbreaker right? can be a chore. <laughs> oh, okay. all right. 
This looking rough. Based on the punish game that I've seen so far from Goldfinger, this might be insurmountable for him. Yeah, I mean, we've seen Goldfinger, okay, got, got the up tilt there, but getting a little impatient and we're seeing um, Bob really take advantage of Mart's linear recovery and just hitting him off stage and able to edge guard him with really Absolutely. no problem. See, now he's, this might get him in trouble. He's trying to challenge the bear wall with his fares. Yeah. All right, see, like he, he resisted the urge there. That was good. good that was wait. good. That was so scary. <laughs> Held my breath for a second. <laughs> oh, that was really scary. He he got a he got a platform cancel, but then he jumped immediately afterwards. Yeah, jumped right back into like the shark's cage. <laughs> <laughs> now see, all right. I mean, if if Bob isn't careful, he can give this right back. Okay. In particular, I see he's starting to he's starting to mix in these these pounds like pretty close to the ground, and they haven't been getting him too much mileage. They can, it could get him yeah. in trouble. Other than some shield pressure, right? There he goes with the the worm again. <laughs> the worm. I love that. I love that. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call from now on. I think he wanted to come down with the fair, or maybe even a bear, but he got stuck on the platform. Got stuck on the platform, said. right? Okay, let's see. Oh. Real close, real close. This is where nerves play. This is where the rolls start showing up. This is where the DI starts. Okay, oh. good re-grab. All right, well, he, he's got to be careful with the spacing. This is where you start getting spaghetti DI. Oh yes, <laughs> and spaghetti follow-up, spaghetti, you know, <laughs> everything. Ooh, wow. I'm this not sure what he was going for that triangle jump. He jumped, uh, he caught him with the jump, yep. that's it, that's gonna do it. That's it, yep. 